Hello and welcome back and ignore that guy that's above me there on screen although this does relate to the video that I did publish yesterday here on YouTube. This is to do with the price per terabyte of drives. Now when I actually published a video that's playing up above, look at that guy's magnificent hair, I missed that hair. Um, when I published that video, I didn't realize just how popular it was going to be. And one of the recurrent themes I saw when I was looking at the comments was a lot of people, despite the fact that it was a video about trying to choose between a small number of large hard drives or a large number of small capacity hard drives, a lot of users were still debating back and forth about the virtues of each kind of drive. Now, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to this, but today's video is one that I wanted to quickly put together to show you guys about a tool that I recommended to a lot of you guys in the comments. Now, if you go down to the bottom, sorry about the slowdown, I am using OBS. If you go into the description of that video, and indeed this video, you will find these three links here. There's actually four, technically. Now, those links lead to certain things. First one is a link to the article that was regarding the same subject as that video about deciding the difference between larger and smaller hard drives. And there's a few extra points in that article where I detail things to look out for on those drives. But the other thing that's included in there is a wonderful little tool that Eddie, this chap up here at the top, look at this happy little fellow there, he designed a tool for the blog. And what this simply does is allow you to get the best price per terabyte for your own raid now to put it into perspective there's two versions there's this one that's got a lot of waffles so if you don't quite know about some of the distinctive differences you can go to that or go to this other link which just goes directly to the tool in question and what it effectively does is allow you to very 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 quickly get up to the minute information about the price per terabyte of different drives and then, and then it filters them and basically gives you the best possible drive for your needs priced at per terabyte which a number of you said was one of your main buying factors now it doesn't factor in durability at this time and other factors like performance eddie's working on a new version of this tool for that but if we zoom in a little bit there what we have here is a list of pretty much all of the hard drives currently available for nas listed here on uh, amazon uh, in the us and uk other regions will be added but if you were to untick this box here, it will then list non-NAS drives as well. So in order to show you how this tool works, I'm going to go through it with you. Now, we're going to leave it as both UK and US at this time. But say, for example, you first enter the capacity you need. So say, for example, if you need, let's say you need uh, 30 terabytes. You're going to go for 30 terabytes of storage you want. Next, how many bays are inside the NAS that you are using? Now, Remember, this doesn't mean that that is going to fully populate those four bays in this case. So, for example, you put eight bays in there. All this calculator is going to do is know that you have eight available bays. It isn't necessarily going to fill them all up. It may even leave you some empty bays as well. Next, redundancy. How many drives failure protection do you want? Because it will factor this into the price per terabyte of a combination of drives. So, for now, we're going to leave it at one drive of protection and then finally your budget now if you don't quite know what your budget is and i'm sure this will get refined over time as eddie put spends more time on the tool but for now i would just say put a nice high number on there but i'm going to leave it at 2000 for now but just bear in mind you can put in your own budget of how much you're wanting to spend on these whole hard drives it doesn't include the price of the nas finally what if you're not running a nas at all and you're looking for a DAS, a standard usb or a backup you can choose if you wish to remove non-NAS drives, uh, remove any limits to non-NAS drives like Seagate Barracuda, WD Blue. But for now, just to show you on this instance, I'm going to only look at server-grade hard drives. So that's NAS drives and uh, data center drives. So from there, we click Calculate. It'll take a few seconds to run that calculation. The page will refresh, as you can see there. If we scroll down, now we've got all of these drives listed. Now, it's worth highlighting, it will list the cheapest drive first. So right there, if you were looking at eight bays of storage to reach, if you've got eight available bays for 30 terabytes of storage with one disk of redundancy within a budget of 2000, the best recommendation right now is to go for six 60B uh, drives from WD in their WD Red Plus, uh, Plus series there, it details them all, and there's even a link. Now, there are links to the US, and there are links to the UK further down. Unfortunately, if I try to open one of the US links right now and open it up in a new tab, unfortunately, it will redirect me to the UK page. Consequently, 
the prices are going to be all wrong. So do make sure that you select ones that are in your own region and later down the line they will be refined. But say for example down here we've got one for the UK where it recommends using eight uh, five 8 TB drives there and that would give you that additional layer of redundancy and that would come in at 835 pounds so we can open it up into a new tab as you can see now it's moving into the UK there but do bear in mind sometimes it's going to be making recommendations to go for other available sellers on Amazon there but still nonetheless it is able to ascertain the best option and it will only go for new drives I might add as well but it will give you the best available option at price per terabyte for your needs. Do also bear in mind that sometimes when a drive goes out of stock, then Amazon have a tendency to hide a drive. So you may uh, select a link for a drive on this and it won't take you to that drive because Amazon, if an item isn't in stock, it has a tendency to hide it from search results. For example, if we go in here and I put in WD Red, on the left hand side of the screen, it will purposefully hide out of stock items so you have to actually tick it to put it in there but nevertheless i know this is a short video and it's not really that informative but this is just about showing you a great way to choose the best price per terabyte drives factoring in raid factoring in uh performance benefits bays the works utilizing this tool which will be updated very soon uh last thing i will highlight if you've got any feedback on this tool things to improve again the last thing that's going to be applied to it is the improvement in the graphical user interface, so that's not really something worth highlighting there. And if you have any ideas about other tools that we should work on for the blog, do let me know in the comments. But apart from that, looking at my notes, what we'll do is we'll do one more test there. So why don't we run a test now on non-NAS hard drives there. So say you were going to go for a DAS system there. Let's scroll down once again, and this time we're going to go for a little bit more. We're going to go for 50 terabytes. We're going to say that we're running, let's say, a 4 bay. Let's get really controversial. So we've barely got any storage to play with there. Um, and then in terms of redundancy, we're going to go for one disk redundancy. We're going to go for a silly budget, so, and this time we're going to remove nas uh, limitation so now it's going to include desktop drives it's going to include all kinds of different drives there so now it's run that calculation and this time in there are much fewer results as you can see there and if we zoom in we can see that the best price option there is to go apparently for seagate iron wolf pros in the us there remember that number is a total figure it's not price per drive that is the total of all of them I'm sorry this is a bit qvc salesy but this just is genuinely a very useful tool for those of you out there looking to populate your NAS or DAS system in order to get the very best price per terabyte of your needs. Of course, all of the links on there, if you do utilize them, much like I've said in other videos, it will go to Amazon. And although it doesn't cost you anything, anything you buy from Amazon, once you go there from those links, results in a little kickback going back to me and Eddie here at NAS Compares, which we immediately put back into developing tools like this, making videos like this, or writing articles like this that and remember just head into the description of this video where you will find similar links to those found in the previous video that i was making earlier on but otherwise thank you so much for watching have yourself a great weekend and i will see you next time